Thumbing through the pages of a magazine is a unique pleasure. Distinct from our often mindless scrolling through phones or tablets, magazines have their own feel, their own distinct smell, an experience that provides the perfect context for appreciating beautifully conceived fashion stories. So what exactly is a fashion story and how are they made? Laurent Dombrovitz, one of the world's most respected fashion editors, explains. A fashion story is exactly that, a story. It's about creating a visual narrative. Sometimes people get it wrong and approach it like an editorial task or like they're producing a novel or a film. The error would be to think there was a simple beginning, middle and end. It's wrong to think that the main character has to express some sort of inner psychology. No, this isn't about psychology. There's a model and her attitude might give a sense of what's going on inside their head. But we're not in a film. This isn't a novel. This is fashion photography. That's it. The person reading the magazine doesn't know what's in our heads. They don't know how the story was constructed. They just see the result. From the first page to the last, that's all that matters. Laurent Dombrovitz is in his Brussels studio with his team to work on the first part of a new menswear story. For me, if fashion is just about the clothes, then it's not really fashion. It's about production, business, it's lots of other things. Fashion isn't simply about clothes, fashion is about images. It speaks to the world we live in, to bodies, atmospheres. Fashion is about much more than the clothes. How do we go about choosing clothes? It's no secret, with French magazines and also everywhere else, we work with publicists, and that's normal. It's not at all shameful to really champion our partners. But then there's the question of how. That's the task of looking at collections and choosing the pieces that work best with the sort of story you're trying to tell. It's about trying to find really interesting looks, looks that really chime with the specific identity of the magazine in question. You wouldn't do the same fashion story for Citizen K as you would for, say, Vogue or any other magazine. You really need to understand the identity of the publication. The fashion editor's job is really to put that magazine's identity at the heart of their work. Laurent Dombrovitz is a former film director and brand consultant, but these days he concentrates on creating fashion stories for a huge range of publications. Among them, Citizen K, a quarterly magazine retailing for just one euro thanks to extensive advertising. It's theatrical, irreverent, high-end and eccentric, just like its founder, Gérard Bombi Kapauf. Eccentricity goes beyond style and provocation. Even if provocation seems to be at the heart of the very idea of eccentricity. But it's clear that to be eccentric is to go against the tide, against societal norms, against convention, against what society expects from us generally. Yes, eccentricity definitely means something. The second part of the shoot takes place in a garden centre specialising in topiary, a choice that reflects Laurent Dombrovitz's passion for gardening and one that complements the shoot's central inspiration, Tim Burton's cult classic, Edward Scissorhands. We maintain that link with that aesthetic that's somewhere between steampunk and gothic but in a more disparate, revised sort of way. We didn't take it as our key point of departure, for example. The film sets Edward in all his isolation and splendour against the rest of the world. 
That wasn't the message we wanted to send out. Our character is inspired by Edward at the point when he comes into contact with other people, the models in our case, and you find that his style, his humour, is contagious. So we didn't create two different worlds, one for the Edward character and one for the others. Instead, we brought those two things together in a single aesthetic, as if eccentricity were contagious. We wanted to portray eccentricity as something positive. Be creative. Be yourself. Be different. That's the best way to go. Fashion stories can be beguiling, inspiring and surprising, but sometimes they can even tell you a thing or two about how to be in the world.